I recently bought the Asus RTX86U Pro and since me warranties don't really see eye to eye, I decided to open up the case and see what's inside. The first thing that I did was to remove the three antennas and then I took out the six screws from the bottom section. Then I tried to pry open the case, but as expected, it wouldn't budge. That's because there are some extra screws hidden somewhere. So I pushed my finger on the label and I did feel a small hole. There has to be a screw underneath it. And indeed it was. You'd expect that Asus would have had enough with simply adding a large label which can't easily be removed. But no, they had the audacity to add a warranty void sticker above it, making it very difficult to remove the screw with a regular screwdriver. I eventually got it out, but the question is whether that warranty void sticker has any value. It shouldn't in the US, but can't be sure that's the case anywhere else. Still, not a very good move from Asus. But wait, there is more. Remember that whole mental breakdown thing in the title? Here it comes. I wrongly assumed that I was done and there were no more screws, so I tried opening up the case once more. And it did detach in various spots, but it was very stubborn at the top. So I removed the label almost to the end, but still no screw in sight. And that was my mistake, because at the very end of the label, Asus has added another screw. Wow. Just wow. Now watch me essentially destroy the case before figuring out that there was one last screw that had to be taken out. Finally! I really had to take a break after this. But we're not done even at this point, because some artsy fartsy designer thought it would be cool to weirdly attach the front and the rear panels together. Or maybe it was an attempt at discouraging people from opening the router. You be the judge of that. Anyway, I eventually got it open and could see a fairly large metallic plate across the board which needs to be removed. And then I could see the storage chipset, but there was nothing of interest underneath the aluminum cover. Everything else is on the other side, so I detached the two antennas, removed the screws and carefully moved the two plastic locks from the side. Now that the PCB is out, we can see that there is another metallic heatsink which takes the heat away from the main components. And underneath it, there are some aluminum covers that need to be removed as well. That's about it. We can now see the remaining components. You can pause at any time to get a better view of each chipset. Thank you for watching and see you next time.